Yo, what's up everyone? How's it going? First off, huge shout out to all of you for the love on my last video. You asked for more, so here we are again, bringing back the sauce that nobody on YouTube is talking about. Today, I'm dropping gems on three effects that'll bring lots of energy to your clips. But anyways, let's get right into the first effect. Quick reminder before we start, you guys went absolutely crazy on the Energy V1 preset pack, so I went ahead and dropped Energy V2. But not only that, there's a sweet bundle deal for both packs that are priced so low, even your wallet will thank you. Plus, we've got a buy two, get one free deal going on right now, so don't sleep on it, guys. All right, enough talk. Let's jump straight into the first effect. So the first effect I'm going to be showing you guys is actually a preset from the Energy V2 pack. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right here. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this preset. So let's get right into it. So drag in an adjustment layer and cut it to the length of your video. You're going to add transform to the adjustment layer and brightness and contrast as well. And now you're going to go to effects controls, go all the way down. And right here on use composition shutter angle, uncheck that and make the shutter angle something like 180. And now for the first step, we're going to keyframe the scale and the position. We're going to go all the way to the end of our clip and we're going to bring the scale up to like 120. Now go back to the beginning of our clip. We're going to bring down the horizontal uh, position by like 100. So we're just going to go to like 1862 right here. And with the uh, vertical as well, we're going to bring it down to like 996. You're going to go one frame ahead and you're just going to bring down the vertical position by just a tiny bit and bring up the uh, horizontal position to like let's say 1930 and then you're gonna go one frame ahead and you're gonna bring up the vertical position to like 1020 let's say and the horizontal position to let's say 1909 just slightly moving these keyframes so we get this shake effect and the more keyframes you guys make the more random the shake is gonna be and then go one keyframe ahead and then make that 1850 and make the vertical 1013 go one frame ahead and make that 1848 so you just really want to follow this pattern i don't know if you guys can see but for example right here we're going 100 down 100 down and then here we are going 100 up and a few up right here and then it just switches so basically you're going to do two for each you're going to slightly increase the uh vertical two times for two frames and then make it bounce up to 100 more or 100 less and same for the horizontal you're going to bring it up 100 and then you're going to bring it slightly down and then slightly down again for another frame and then bring it back up 100. I don't know if that made sense, but anyways, we're just going to grab all these keyframes right here and we're just going to copy and paste it until the end of our clip. So the clip is going to start looking like this. And if you are getting these black borders right here, what you're going to go ahead and do is just increase the scale a tiny bit and it should get rid of it. So onto the flickering, we're going to go right here to brightness and contrast right here at the beginning. We're going to keyframe this at zero, go two frames ahead, bring it up to like 50, bring the contrast up to like 36. And we're going to grab these keyframes and just copy and paste them every two frames. So this is the effect that you guys should get. Really crazy shake effect that really adds sauce to your guys' video. So this is what it looks like without the effect. And this is what it looks like with it. Just adds a bunch of energy to it. But anyways, let's get right into the next effect. So for this next effect, I'm going to show you guys how to make this hard hit with flash effect in just a couple of steps. So let's hop straight into it. So we're going to come right here and grab another adjustment layer. And we're just going to make that six frames long. Put it right in between our two clips. And we're going to add transform to it. Just like for the other effect, uncheck this box right here and make the shutter angle 180. You're going to come right to the beginning. You're going to make the scale 135. You're going to keyframe that. Go three frames ahead make that 157 let's say and right back to the end and we're going to make that back to 100 so it's going to start looking like this and now we're going to play around with the positioning and the rotation to get the whole shaking going on so keyframe the position just like this right here at the beginning and we're going to go one frame ahead and drag this slightly to the right and this slightly up go two frames ahead just again and bring that back down and this to the left and we're going to go one frame ahead bring this to the left and bring this up one frame ahead, we're gonna bring this even more up and this one as well. And now we're gonna go and reset this right here at the end. And we might actually just take these keyframes and just drag them back one frame each. So we're gonna grab this one and drag it here, this one there and this one there. So it's gonna start looking like this on the position. So as you can see, we're getting this zoom in, zoom out kind of shake effect, but we can even make it shake more. So we're just gonna grab the vertical and we're just gonna bring that up even more right there. We're gonna go one frame ahead and bring that even more down and this one even more up and this one even more down so it's gonna start shaking just like that and now we're gonna throw on a couple of more effects that make it look even smoother the next effect we're gonna add is brightness and contrast so we're gonna come right here and we're gonna go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and keyframe both of these values at zero we're gonna go three frames ahead and make this let's say 60 and bring the contrast up to 35 and we're gonna go right to the end of our adjustment layer and reset those keyframes so now we're gonna get this like flash effect going 
going on during the hit and we can even add a bit more to it i think it looks really really good just like this but i think we're gonna add some gaussian blur and some mirroring and we're just gonna randomly make some parts blurrier than other parts so i'm just gonna go right here and i think i'm gonna keyframe it at zero right there and right here i'm gonna bring up the gaussian blur to let's say 60 or 55 and then one frame ahead and we're just gonna bring it back down right here at the end so now it's gonna look like this and this is pretty much it for the second effect we get this hard hit with flash effect that looks super smooth let me just play this through without the effect looks like this without it and with the effect it looks like this it just brings so much energy and it's super simple to make in just a couple of steps you guys get this really high quality shake effect and transition so that's pretty much it for this second effect right here and we're gonna hop right into the third and final effect of this video so for this third effect i'm gonna show you guys how to make this like vertical smack effect you guys can use it either mid video or even for like transitions let me show you guys what that would look like as a transition as a transition that looks super hard even just mid video it looks really cool i think this preset is super fire so i'm going to show you guys how to make this effect so you're going to drag in your adjustment layer and you're going to make that 12 frames long so i'm just going to cut that right there and we're just going to add transform and brightness and contrast to this we're going to go to transform uncheck this box and make the shutter angle 180 and we're going to keyframe the scale and position. So you're going to go three frames ahead and you're going to bring up the scale to, let's say, something like 170 right here. And we're going to bring up the height as well, like something like this. And now we're going to go two frames ahead and bring up the height again to just the maximum right here, which looks like it's going to be something like 1820. And that is perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go two frames ahead and we're just going to bring this all the way down to, let's see, right here at the border. So 329. And now we're going to go a couple frames ahead and we're just going to bring this back up to like here and then reset right here at the end. You can even drag this one right here. So it's going to look like this so far. So you get that smack going on, but we are getting those black borders. So we're going to have to play with the scale a bit more. So we're just going to bring up the scale to like 180 around here. So we're just going to move this keyframe so we get rid of those black borders. So you guys can see we have this like vertical smacking going on now. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So we have this like vertical smack going on and we're just going to reset the scale as well. At the end, we're going to grab this keyframe, the 180 keyframe, and we're going to copy and paste it right there just like this and we're going to move the position here just like that so now it's going to start looking like this and now what we're going to do is keyframe the brightness and contrast right here we're going to go five frames ahead bring up the brightness to let's say 60 and the contrast to 35 we're going to go five frames ahead again and reset those keyframes and we're just going to easy ease some of these keyframes what i'm going to do right here with this first keyframe is right click temporal interpolation and ease out and then i'm going to grab the next one go back, ease in, and then ease out the other one, and just repeat this process all the way until the end. So this is what it looks like with those keyframes eased in. It's just like a bit harder, looks nice. So I'm gonna put this as a transition, show you guys what that looks like. It looks super clean. So that is pretty much it for this third effect, and that is a wrap for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys wanna see more videos like this, because I know you guys really love the last one. So if you guys like this one, again, let me know. I will make more of these tutorials, giving us free sauce on how to add energy to your guys' clips. And a quick note before I wrap this up, I will be doing a giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers. I'm not gonna say too much now. I'm gonna talk about it more in the next upcoming videos. But just know that there's a giveaway at 500 subs. So yeah, I'm going to leave on that note. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys in a couple days with a new tutorial. Peace out.